Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. I am back with my next Christmas in July project, y'all. Um, before I get going, I just want to tell you thank you so, so much. I posted a video yesterday about helping out a friend. And y'all, she is in her 400s on her subscribers right now. She is, believe me, over the moon. She is so excited and she cannot wait to make more videos and to show you her her craft and y'all won't be y'all won't be um disappointed i promise you she is just grateful and just an awesome awesome lady and creator and you will actually love her channel so if you subscribe to her channel thank you so so much for taking the time to click that button and Go on over and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, check my last video. I've got the link underneath it, and you'll it'll lead you right to her channel. Let's get on with this, okay? Okay, so what I'm going to make, y'all, is I'm going to make um, this sweet little jar to house some twine, okay? And, you know, we always have, like, you know, we have our twine sitting out, and, you know, you'll be pulling it off, and your little thing's just rolling everywhere, and I live that all the time. I should have did this a long time ago, but I decided, you know what? That's what these great little plastic mason looking jars um, are gonna use, are gonna be used for it. So I actually, this is the package that I got on this kit is Craftsmark and it came three 16 ounce jars and I got these at Hobby Lobby and I think I paid I don't know, maybe four or five dollars for the three. So anyway, that is um, where I got it. You can always use like the Dollar Tree jars if you can find them and maybe use some smaller twine rolls in, in your jars. Um, but yeah, this, uh, I decided, you know, since I found this one right here, this larger twine, I decided I would go ahead and do a little bit larger jar and you're gonna see it's gonna work out just fine. Okay, so let's get started. This is so easy, y'all. So you're going to need one jar, okay? You're going to need some twine, and we'll go ahead and let's go ahead and get this open. This twine, I got it at Hobby Lobby, and it is the 100-yard twine. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get this open, and I'm going to get this down in my jar. I'm going to go ahead and get this paper off. And so just let me see if I can find the end here. Well, I'm going to find the end eventually. Here it is. I think it's this one. Yep. Yep, here it is. Okay, so found the end. And as you see, this is gonna fit perfectly right down in this jar. And this is this twine will last a very long time, okay? So let's go ahead and we're gonna prepare our lid first. So as you see here, um, I just poked a hole in the top and I put some decorative paper on the top as well. So I went ahead and I I um, punched out a two inch, let me show you my punch. This is a two inch uh, circle punch. And this is, a, I believe a Paper Studio brand, got it at Hobby Lobby. And I've already punched that out. So what I did too is I, I put tape on everything except this. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna add a little tape. You can add glue if you want. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get my tape on so whenever I do attach this to the lid of my of my jar, it will be ready. And if you tape it, but opposed to gluing it, you might be able to peel it off if you wanna change the color or design or it's preference, that's whatever you wanna do. Okay, so the first thing that I did is, I put this up in my mat here and it's a two inch. So if you see here, it's right up here in the center of my mat. And let me make sure I got this in frame here. 
So it's a two, two inches, okay? So what I did is I kind of eyeballed it in the center to find the center, okay? So you're gonna just need, um, you're just gonna need to poke a hole and I'm using my big uh, crop -a dial here and I'm using the 3 16th hole. I'm gonna go ahead and poke my hole. So there we go, I got a hole. If it's not totally in the center, don't fret over it, it's okay. It's just a decoration anyway. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of, uh, kind of eyeball it, put it in the center of your lid here. And let me get this out, just, to, oh, I'm sorry, wrong way, y'all. You're gonna get this kind of in the center of your lid and then kind of hold it in place. Let me grab a marker. I'm gonna to try to hold this the best that I can. Try to keep it as centered as I can. And I'm gonna go ahead and make myself, I can kind of see it, kind of hard. Okay, so just make yourself, it is there. You can't hardly see it, but I can see it. With my old, old eyes, I can see it, y'all. So you're just gonna decide where you want your hole. And what I did is I used, I have this old Cricut mat here because I don't want to damage my, I don't want to damage my uh, mat here. And you're just going to put, you're just going to put your screwdriver. I just used a little screwdriver and give it a tap or two. And it went right on through. Okay, so as you see here, there you go. You got yourself a hole. It was easy as that. On the back, I kind of flattened it out and then I kind of used my tool and kind of made this uh, where it stayed in that circle. You don't have to have it too big, but there you go. You want to make sure you're poking it down and not going back from this way because, you know, the it does have a little bit that's kind of sticking down there and you don't want um, you don't want to get cut or anything like that. So just make sure. And I kind of just played with mine. And just make sure your hole is big enough. It doesn't have to be a perfect hole, just a hole. Okay, let me get this out of the way. And now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to adhere my paper to the top. And it just kind of makes it pretty. There's no real rhyme or reason for this. It's just making it pretty. That's what we crafters do. We decorate. Make sure you're lining up that hole with your paper. See, there you go. See? So now we got that ready. Now this is the easiest, the easiest, easiest part, y'all. I've gone ahead and decided and, de and uh, decided what color I want. Okay, something's falling over on here on me. Um, I've decided what color I want, and since I'm doing a Christmas in July theme, I chose this beautiful red. It's just beautiful, and I went ahead and I put tape on each end. This is actually a 12 inch by two and a half, and. I'm going to go ahead, and if you have to take this out so your twine doesn't fall out, go ahead. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Now, there's some little lines on the side here if you want to use those as a guide. But what I did to try to make sure I got it straight while ago is I went ahead and put the tape off on one end. And then I lined it up just like this. And I held it in place. That way then, and then I press it down really well, and then I just pulled it tight, and that way it overlapped just wonderfully. So I'm gonna hold it in place, get this one off. Make sure, and I'm using some good tape, because you know, circle things, they kinda, they might start coming off because it's in a circle, but there you go. So I'm using my score tape for this. And there you go, it already looks wonderful. So I've gone ahead and I found a, a cut apart and on here I put Believe on there. And so on this one in my collection that I have, and I've got a bunch of different 
um, stacks of Christmas um, papers and stuff sitting over here. And so I was looking through to see what I wanted to use. And I found this Mary and Bright and I thought, well, that would be great. So I went ahead and I layered it up on some white cardstock and also some um, red cardstock. And as you see here, I put plenty of score tape on the back. And I'm going to use, let's see if I can find it. I'm going to use my scoring tool and I'm going to kind of go ahead and kind of, kind of do like this because I want it to kind of start getting around a little bit. That way it'll go, it'll adhere a little easier. So you're getting, start already getting like a little round, um, roundness to your paper. You can do it a little more if you want. If you were doing just a little short little greeting or whatever, you wouldn't have to go that far, but you want to be able to adhere this on. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get all my tape off. My light is kind of bright today. So hopefully you're still able to see what I'm doing. And I, I think that I'm going to actually put the seam in the front. That way I can cover this to make sure. And I'm going to just put it up like this so I can, oopsie, I got to get it. So you want to kind of set it down in the center and just make sure you're putting it on straight, as straight as you can. And look at that. You could have did a little bit smaller one, but I love this Marion Bride. I just think it's so sweet. I put plenty of score tape, so it should not peel up. It should stay well adhered down. I mean, the nice thing about this, if you ever wanted to change the paper and make it for just like whatever, in my case, I'd probably put pink or something like that. You could always just cut this and just peel the whole thing off because the only place there's tape adhered to the jar is in those in those two places that are under there when I adhered it to the thing. So you should be able to, you know, get that off fairly easy. Okay, so now all you're going to do is let's go ahead and let's get our twine back in here. That's a great twine jar. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then I'm going to trim this because you need it to have a nice good edge here to be able to poke it back through. Poke it through. Poke it through there. And there you go. If your hole is not big enough, use your screwdriver and just kind of make it a little bit wider. Now let's go ahead and get that adhered on. And so there you go. You now have a thing to house your twine. It is not going to fly away anywhere, y'all. It's not. Okay, let me just trim this off because I don't want to leave it too long here. Okay, so um, on here I added a little twine. And I don't know, I've just been into this twine wrapping thing. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Um, if you're going to gift this to someone, which, uh, you never know, I might be. And so I just want it to be pretty. And I just think that the twine just gives it so much. I'm getting low on my red. I got this one at Tuesday morning. And I haven't, since, since Tuesday morning and the pandemic and everything, since they had closed, they, I don't know, I haven't been. I might go make a stop. Today, I've got to go get my car washed today because it is a disaster before my husband starts going, you need to wash your car. You know, I do need to wash my car. It's very, very, very dirty. <laughs> so that's on a goal. I'm going to clean after I'm done with this. And then I'm going to get out and run a few errands. And I might make a quick stop at Tuesday morning to see if there's anything new. Um, you know, I haven't been to Tuesday morning in quite a little while. So, okay, so there you go. I didn't even have to put any glue underneath it. I just tied it tight, tied a knot here, and I'm just gonna put a little bow. I 
I've been wanting to make this for a long time and have one on my desk. Now I'll be able to have that one on my desk. It would actually be great if you had um, had some of these in like a little tray to have them on on your desk or something like that. And you can just carry your tray of and your jar of twines. You just you could do it. It would probably keep them from rolling away everywhere. Okay, so there we go. And that twine just gave it a little something something. Here's the other one that I made, and it is that easy. Now, I would make sure that you're using, well, I mean, you don't have to, but um, I'm using the plastic jars. If you have the glass ones, I mean, you're an adult, you know. If you would give these to kids to use, I would probably make sure to use the plastic ones. That way, if they drop them. But y'all, what a great thing. And you can always unscrew the lid and then replace your twine with a different color. And let me tell you, this is a great idea, y'all. I love this, love this, love this so much. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a great Saturday. And um, I will see you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye.